Happy Thanksgiving, you guys. Today is Thursday and it's Thanksgiving holiday. Um, I wanted to do this short video to let you guys know what my Thanksgiving fragrances were going to be. Um, I wasn't sure at first, but I started playing around to see what would be like my top unisex Thanksgiving fragrances. Um, so without further ado, let's get started. But first I wanna say thank you for stopping by. If this is your first time on my channel, please uh, think about hitting the subscribe button and hit that bell to let you know when I am uploading new content or when new content has been uploaded. So today, you guys, I want to talk to you about several fragrances that I have. Um, the first one I'm going to talk to you about is Killian Apple Brandy. This just came out this year. Um, I actually pre-ordered this one and um i was so happy to get it it still has that same killing killing um beautiful detail in the bottle Just open it like this i mean you can even hold it like this these are so cute they look like little crystal brandy glasses and i'm sure that's what he was thinking when he made this this line um and of course it's so good i actually um wore this one time and it's so special that i didn't want to keep using it i haven't even put a dent in it but i just wish that he would make these a little bit bigger especially for the price but um so <laughs> you want to use it sparingly when you get it because you're going to be like oh my god i don't want it to go so that's one of the first fragrances that i was thinking about um again this is killian apple brandy i'm not going to go into notes with you guys today because this is just going to be short and sweet and you guys let me know which one you think i should choose and at the end i'm going to tell you which one i actually chose okay the next fragrance i want to talk to you guys about is another from the house of killian um this is also unisex i don't know if you can see this straight to heaven now i was told this was a man's fragrance and i told you guys before that i do lean on men's fragrances somewhat this is what it looks like on the inside when you open it, as you can see. Um, so, this is fire. I keep forgetting how good this smells, um, but I do know this one is like so good. I was just reading this. This is the little card that comes with it. And in this one, it has oak, uh, sugar, alcohol, and wood, okay? And this is like really, really good. I, I can't even describe it. It's like nothing I've ever smelled. One thing I do like about his fragrances is that they're so unique and it's like nothing on the market, I, I, in my opinion. And I have a lot of his, like, oh, Okay, I'm gonna remember to wear this one. I don't know if this is gonna be my scent for today, but it's in the running for the top five, I should say. Oh, yeah, girl. Child, that smells so good. So you, this is something that you do wanna have in your collection. Again, this Killian, straight to heaven, white crystal. Next on my list is Amouage Interlude. Now, there's an homage interlude for men and there's an homage interlude for women. Personally, I like the men's version, okay? Um, and look how beautiful the packaging is. Like, it's just gorgeous. And when you lift this up, it lifts up. Okay, this is crazy. <laughs> Sorry. It lifts up like that. And then this is the bottle. Isn't that bottle beautiful? This is heavy 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 with patchouli i definitely smell patchouli this is such a beautiful smooth creamy yummy fragrance it's not, and i always say it's not for the faint at heart this is definitely something that you may want to go in and smell before buying um, you only need a little bit. I wore this the other day at work. All kind of compliments. They're like, what do you have on? 
it's heavy on the patchouli though you guys i mean that's the first note that i smell when you lift off this top is the patchouli so if you if you're not into patchouli and you are you know you may be into patchouli but you don't want to smell it right off the bat then this fragrance is not for you but if you're like me and you like patchouli and wood and sandalwood and uh, orange blossom and vetiver um I'm not saying that's the notes in there, but I definitely know patchouli is in here. This is something that you would want to have in your collection. So this is another um, possibility for Thanksgiving. Hamouage interlude, the men's version. The woman's version is not this type of bottle. So this is the men's, but it could be unisex. Again, I always say wear what you want. Fragrance has no gender. So wear what you want, okay? That's another option. Let's put that back. Um, the next fragrance I'm thinking about wearing is from the House of Creed. Okay, Creed Advantage. Yes, this is the men's version because I didn't like the women's. The women's was too soft for me. I like my fragrances to be a little ed more edgy. Um, I do like some girly fragrances, but there are some times that I tend to gravitate more to the heavy hitters for some reason. Um, and yeah, for this one, I smell the pineapple right away. This is what made me want the men's version more so than the women's version of this one because of the pineapple. It smells so darn good, you guys. And I put like a, you can see there's a little dent in here. I have so many fragrances, so it's gonna take me a while to put dents in them. But again, this one is good. This is a pineapple fragrance, the pineapple coconut, um, but yeah. This is beautiful. Again, this is Creed Adventures for men. And this is another one that I'm contemplating on wearing today. Um, these are kind of like heavy hitters today. I just feel like it's that time of the year, that season. So why not pull out? Um, the next one is from the house of Nishane. It's Hachibat. Hachibat. Okay. So when you get it, that's how it comes with the sleeve and then you just pull it open. I, the Nishan A fragrances, the house always puts like a little card inside. Um, and then this is how it looks when it's open. You guys can see that. This smells really good. Now, this is acquired, an acquired taste. They say this lends more on the masculine side as well. However, it is unisex. This is just special. Oh, this is really, really good. Just really, 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 really special. Mm. I don't know, you guys, which one I should choose. Oof, this one is so good. I know a lot of people on YouTube talk about Hachibat and the Nishane line. I love it. I think I definitely, I told you guys, want to add more to my collection, but yeah. This is another one that I'm thinking about for Thanksgiving. Um, and finally, I might just keep it simple and not even just do anything like that. I might just do a body spray and keep it simple. Let's see. And that body spray would be... Bam! Fabulous by Tom Ford, honey, because she is feeling that. And the reason why I said it might be a body spray because I'm not going anywhere today. I'm going to be around the house, just chilling. And maybe I just want something light. This I'm not sure yet, but let's see how. It's, look how, look at that. Oh, yeah. So it might just be this body spray by Tom Ford. Um, again, it's fabulous. Now I have two of them. One is fabulous, and one is effing fabulous uh oh effing fabulous so it could be either one of these today that i might wear um since i'm not going to be doing much today i've already cooked and everything and worked out and i just want to chill today and catch up on yellowstone that's a good series if you guys not watching yellowstone on paramount tv you need to start anyway back to this so um yeah out of these two Fucking fabulous, or sorry, effing fabulous and fabulous. I really don't really know the difference. Like, why did he name Tom Ford do it like that? I think some people were getting offended by the 
effing, but I mean, come on, y'all, we all adults, so. Um, so now, you guys, look, I'm looking down here because I have so many fragrances down here, um, and I just wanted to pull out one more possibility. This may be my possibility for today. To me, this is the best fragrance that Tom Ford has ever made out of all his fragrances. Now, don't get it twisted. I do love Lost Cherry. But, but this Black Orchid is just beautiful. I mean, it's, it's nothing, nothing, nothing like it. Perhaps one of the best fragrances I have on in my collection. This is something that's going to always be in my collection because it's, it's just that special. Definitely not for the faint at heart, definitely not a blind buy, but definitely worth looking into and having in your collection. I will highly, highly, highly suggest this Tom Ford um, Black Orchid fragrance. So you guys tell me what, what you think I chose. Hmm. So I think my scent of today actually is going to be drum roll. Creed. I just love the pineapple. The pineapple, yeah, it, it, it just got me. Pineapple is just fire. So, yeah, let's go ahead and spray that on. It's, it's the pineapple for me. And it's just so fresh and so good. It's so elegant. So, that would be my scent of the day, you guys, for Thanksgiving. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave me some comments down below. Tell me what your scent of the day was for Thanksgiving. Tell me how you like this video. And don't be a stranger. Come back for new content. Until then, it's your girl, Lajon. And I will see you on my next video. Okay? You guys, have a wonderful day.